This is showing my work number 18. Today's July 13th. I currently have 27 long form videos out and 72 subs on my main channel. So I want to talk about how I am now batching my graphics process. It is mind blowing because I couldn't have gotten to this point without all the other iterative versions in the past, but I'm now making it so much faster. Um, and although right now and it makes sense. I'm like, well, of course, why wouldn't I, why didn't I batch this from the beginning? But I, I realized that, and I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second, but I realized that I needed to go through the first iterative stages to kind of like build the groundwork and see what kind of works, what I didn't work. And now that I found what I like, now I'm literally automating it and making it so much faster. So here we go. The first thing that I did, which I mentioned in a separate video was that I redid my, um, I, I did that in um, the previous video showing my work number, uh, uh, where is it, number 17. Um, but what I did was I, I upgraded my graphics process uh, processes and I kind of organized things, made it a little bit more neat. But then, here we go, rather than individually going into the, each of these graphics and just saying, okay, well, I need to add a typing text, so let me do everything for the typing text. Let me add the background let me and and again what it would look like is let me literally like let's just say it was this yellow one right here what i would do for this is i would add the background that's number one number two i'd create the little graphic like this number two i'd then you know use the which includes the nesting and the track mat key etc so i would do all that then I would go into Canva and I would then create the graphic right here. So I would do that. And then once I'm done with that, yay, I'm done with that. Then I go to the next one and I'd repeat the process over and over again. I would go in here. I would add the background. That's number one. I would go in here and I would create the little graphic. I'd use the track mat key, making sure it's good. I would then, after I do that, you know, I'd, I'd then reposition it on the screen. And then I'd go into Canva and I would add it into my little screen right here and I would download it. It took forever to do that. And I, 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 I mean, video 22, video 23, video 24, although I got faster at doing it, I found different ways to kind of like more batch things. Now I'm taking my batching to the next level because what I am doing, and clearly you can hear my excitement here, um, Okay, what I am doing, you ready? I am going in here. And for right here, I'll just take all this and literally all I'm doing is I'm like, all right, great. So I haven't started this. So right here, actually design goes right here at the end. So I'm gonna take this and I'm like, great. I'm gonna add the background for the yellows. Super simple. So I, I click right here on my Notion. And again, this would be on one big screen. And I'd be cool. I need to get dynamic background C on there. I go find it with the sound effect, I'd copy it, and I'd just literally go to the next marker, anything that's yellow. Copy it in, poof, next one. Copy it in, next one. Copy it in, next one. This is so mindless and goes so fast. Copy it in, next one. Once I'm done with my yellows, I go back here. Yellow is done with that, so now I need to, what do I need to do with my, oh, now I need to move it to the nested graphics. Okay, then, I'd repeat the process. I just did this today. It took me about 30 minutes. I repeated it for everything that was applicable for a background and a sound effect, right? Then that was step one. Then I needed to create all the nested graphic sequences, all of these, the, the, these little guys. So I went in and I added them all to everything. Number one, number two, I went and I, then after that, I added the track mat to everything done. Number three, as soon as I was done with that, I went in and uh, I scaled them according to my rules of thumb here, where it's like, you know, well, my talking head is in this position, scaled to this percentage, da 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 So, like, I created one scale, one, right? And then I went to every purple thing, I just pasted it really quick, poof, 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 and it automatically did it. It was so fast. That took me 30 minutes. So all that I have left to do right now, and I'm going to give myself a couple hours, all I have left to do is go into Canva and I'll probably batch them together. I'll do all my yellows together. I'll go into Canva. I'll create the graphic. I'll create all the yellow graphics together. Everything yellow. I'll create it in one long graphic. Everything yellow. I'll just create it. 
once I create it, I'll download it and I'll add all the yellows in one shot. I'll add all the purples in one shot. I'll add all the greens in one shot. I'll add all the reds in one shot. Um, where am I at here? Here I am. Okay, got it. I think part of why I'm so excited is because for me, um, I remember at one point there was, um, I remember, uh, I think it was like video 20 or video 21. I, I don't know, maybe 21, 22, something. I remember messaging a number of friends and I had added how much time I did. It took me 24 hours, literal hours, not like rounding, 24 hours. And I chunked it an hour here, two hours here, three hours here to get to get it edited from the time I, you know, from filming to now I'm exporting from, you know, I imported it to film and then I did all my edits to exporting. Everything got so much faster when I realized when I moved from Final Cut to Premiere Pro and then it batched, you know, it chopped everything. All that cutting, initial cutting, super fast. Then on, I think on showing my work number 16, I talked about, or 16 or 15, I talked about text-based editing. Okay, well that is now gonna make my workflow, my chopping really fast. I remember at some point I figured out about markers. That makes things even faster so I wasn't kind of memorizing or, no, it's just color coded, it's done. And every single video, I did different iterative improvements. And now I'm at the point, I think, where it's going to take me, I'm going to say an hour and a half to do the initial edit, add all the markers, everything, done. It's going to take me 30 minutes, okay, let's just call it an hour, one hour to go in and add all the initial, um, the background, the graphics, all of that, one hour. The nesting, everything. I'm at... That's about two and a half hours in. I don't know how long it'll take me to create those graphics. Let's just say three hours. Okay. So that's about five and a half hours in. It's done. Five and a half hours compared to 24. I'm so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, and, and then this essentially creates the fact that the initial editing requires some brain power. The other stuff requires less work. I, ooh, 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 ooh. Let me finish this. Um, it's just mind-blowing. Okay, I'm done. I gotta go. <laughs> this is great.